Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of what's new in Vantage 2 Update 4. We added support for imported V-Ray decals as well as options to create them. Vantage now supports the popular UDIM texturing workflow. Animated V-Ray scene cameras can be edited by setting in and out ranges. We added more post-processing effects and transferred them from the V-Ray scene. There are also many other additions like the thin walled support, nested V-Ray scenes, updated NVIDIA's DLSS to version 3.7 and more. Let's see the animation in the scene. The material of the robot and the buildings behind are set up using the UDIM texturing workflow. Here are the textures. And this is what they look like for the robot and for the building. I'm going to create a decal from the toolbar. While in creation mode, I will select the material I'd like the decal to receive. There is no opacity in those materials, so uh, let's set a decal mask. Okay. Let's also fit its size to the mask by pressing this button. And I'll use the Ctrl and Alt mod keys with the scroll wheel to adjust the decal rotation and size. At creation, I can specify if the decal should affect only the target object or every object overlapping with it. Here's the effect with and without it. Let me get closer to the robot, turn off the depth of field, adjust the decal, and uh, let's apply a diffuse material. Alright, that's okay. If necessary, I can find the decal with the new search field in the outliner. So let's type in a decal, like so. Okay. We can see other decal objects coming from the very scene as well. There are some more options in the decal settings, like invert, uh, bend, and include exclude, but I'd like to point out the bump options, which allow for the decal to inherit the bump of the underlying surface or override it completely. Bear in mind that combining the bump of the two surfaces is not supported. Let's see the effects. This is flat now, and this is with the uh, underlying bump. Let's look at the two decals from the very scene. They are fully editable, and we can also see how changing the order parameter uh, dictates the order in which they are uh, layered. Larger number for the order means it's taking precedence and renders on top. The decal that I placed on the robot has its parent to target option enabled, which means it will be moving together with the animation of the parent. I'll enable the depth of field, close the outliner hierarchy, and look at the timeline tracks. I created and animated some cameras with advantage, but the very scene contains an animated camera that has some shake. I wanted to trim it down, and I'll use the set range menu to do that. This way I used both the camera from the very scene and vantage cameras to complete my shot. Let's preview the animation. I used the vantage state system to animate the sun and clouds, but you could also use the animation coming from the very scene. And now let's see the result with better quality. These were the highlights, but there are many other additions to this update, so I encourage you to go ahead and have a look. I hope you liked the new features, thanks for watching and take care.